Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now let's get started on this week's video. I used this wreath form in a previous project, which originally the color was black, but I spray painted them silver. And for this project, I'm just going to re-spray paint them silver since some of the beads are a little dull. For this next step, I'm taking this zip tie to combine my wreaths together at the top. Now I'm gluing my wreaths to my mirror and as I always say, if you are going to recreate any of my projects, please use a stronger adhesive so your projects can last over time. I decided to incorporate some LED lights with this project and all I'm going to do is wrap the wire around the top and then hide the wire with the flowers. I'm using this flower right here to hide the remainder of the string that's hanging in the middle. And then I'ma just fill my bowl with the rest of the flowers and then clean my mirror and then show you guys the final look. Look how beautiful this turned out. This was super quick and easy to make. All items used are from the Dollar Tree. Comment below and let me know what y'all think. For this next project, I'm just taking my craft pliers and I'm going to unravel the wires and then remove all the beads. I thought this vase would be perfect to attach the beads to and when I'm applying the glue to the beads, I'm making sure that the circle part is facing outwards. The beads did not fit all the way around, so this small space right here will just be the back side. I decided to add some of this pearl wrap for a touch of glam. I have two sets of the pearls with the two rows and also the three rows. Before I add my pearl wrap, I'm adding another row of beads. I decided to also add a few strips of this metallic tape that I purchased from Amazon. 
I had no particular pattern. I was just simply going with the flow. And this is how my vase turned out. And to cover up all the holes in the beads, I'm gluing these jewels right in the center. Once I got done gluing all my jewels down, I removed any excess glue strings, cleaned my vase off, and then this is how it all turned out. While adding the jewels to the beads may be a little bit time consuming, I must say I am very impressed with how this vase turned out. It's very glam and chic, but comment below and let me know what y'all think. On to project number three, I'm using this 8x10 canvas and I'm just going to paint it black. Now I could have just bought the black canvases from my local Dollar Tree, but they simply didn't have any in stock. Now I'm gluing my beads around my mirror to mimic the sun. Now I'm just completing the same exact steps as I did for project number two. This part was a bit time consuming, so you can use self-adhesive jewel stickers to cut your time in half if you choose to recreate this. I love how this turned out, although I think this would look so much better if it was bigger in size. And this can also be used as table decor for a candle holder, centerpiece, or whatever you may like. Comment below and let me know which was your favorite project for this week. <music> 